It's time to go back. Back to the year 2010, when the Red Death appeared on store shelves. No other time in history mattered. Really? No other time in history mattered? I thought I mattered when I came out. I was a pretty cool toy. Look at this guy. He's tiny. The Red Death is huge. He should be the size of a minivan. Come on. Sometimes I really wonder how... Going backwards, the Red Death with Grunkles, as she would definitely not appear on store shelves anymore. This dragon is extremely rare, running anywhere from $100 to even $500 on eBay and or Amazon. A little bit inflated though. Your best shot is trying to look for a loose version. The only reason I was able to obtain the Red Death was through a giant dragon's lot sale, combined with great figures such as the 2010 Gronkle, the dive bomb action Hiccup and Toothless toy, and three other Night Furies, all for a crazy steal for about $125. I still can't believe I pulled that off. It must have been karma for doing all these dragon videos. On the back of the package, we have two great demonstration images of feeding the Gronkles to the Red Death. Three Gronkles to feed. Great classic imagery. Funny how instead of a Red Death up on top, we have an image of a ferocious Gronkle. But we do have a little bio here. As the biggest, baddest, fiercest, fastest, most dangerous dragon in the world, Red Death is the reason for the war between the dragons and the Vikings. Cross him and he'll crush you. Or worse, he might just swallow you like a grunkle. Hey, you're back. You ate our buddy Hiccup. We don't like that at all. We're free dragons now and we don't want any part of the... I'll go get you some fish right away. Yeah, yeah, more fish. Here, eat these grunkles. I suppose it's time to open this expensive beast. The thought did run across my mind to find an open, loose Red Death Dragon so that not to ruin the value of this extremely rare toy, but I think it's time to free this dragon and actually give it a chance to play with. Here we go. You know, back when how to Train Your Dragon came out in 2010, I did see the Red Death and Toothless on the shelf. Often when I pick up toys, I pick up the key good guy and bad guy, as it makes for a good combo. But for some crazy reason, I only picked up Toothless, thus setting off years of regret. But now here, finally, I am able to open a Red Death. You know, I still can't believe how lucky I was to find this. I seriously looked for several years on eBay looking for a great deal. So it's really amazing to find that. You know, another reason that I should open this soon is that all the other 2010 dragons I have opened, the blister pack has removed super easily. So it's going to remove itself eventually unless I put it in some sort of airtight sealed box. But that sort of thing would cost time, money, and storage energy, which probably would eat up the value of this toy. Okay, here we go. You know, one last thought, just to see him on the table, just a few more seconds in this glorious package. What a mint toy, I can't believe I'm about to do this. I guess my kids aren't going to college after all. Okay, here we go. Oh, the first damage has been done. Let's just use a soft knife. See how it just peels off. And that is now open. It looks like we have another How to Build Your Dragon toy. Three Gronkles up on top. These are really cute. Really painted well too, holy cow. And the big girl. Let's see here. We've got feet all over the place. 
strapped in there. That's totally tight. The foot bone connected to the leg bone, the leg bone connected to the thigh bone, the thigh bone connected to the... Okay, so it looks like each foot has a different number on it, hopefully. So here's Red Death. Here is the number two foot. Number two foot goes right here. That just softly fits right in. All right, what do we got here? The number three foot. Three fits down here. This is kind of cool how they, they actually label them. In we go. And we've got the number four. And this better be a number one. Good. Number one foot. All feet installed. Man, these spines are really sharp. Okay, now we have two wings. Don't really need to have those numbered, do we now? And another wing. Pretty much just pop right in. And then we've got the tail. Really tight tail. And we have successfully built the Red Death. Hey you, nobody, I mean nobody eats my boyfriend. This is ridiculous. The Red Death is supposed to be much larger. I can't even look at this guy seriously. You know, sometimes I... Oh, hi, Hiccup. How's it going? So far, opening the Red Death has been totally worth it. What an incredible looking dragon toy. There is so much detail going on with her. She has a really nice gray and red lava-like scale thing going on throughout most of her body. You can really see a ton of detail everywhere. Her back spines are rounded off softly, but there's so many that when you put your hands down on them, they're kind of sharp. We've got a great tail here with a nice spiny end to it for battle attacking. Very impressive wings with a little bit of damage going down them. She's been through a lot with Hiccup and Toothless. As for articulation of the legs, we have a little bit here. The right leg, not much actually, but the left leg on this side, we get a little bit of motion, maybe 30 degrees. Back legs a little bit here and there. Because the way the feet are, uh, you don't get too much going on with her. Downside to these feet being attached is that they can fall off, they start to kind of pop off a little bit here and there so you got to get them in snug and when you're looking for one say loose on eBay you often find them missing so that's kind of a bummer in the design uh, but the look the overall look is just incredible action feature is a lot of fun we have an opening mouth and it looks like we do have it spring hinged a little bit so it'll close up sharply and we are going to feed her some gronkles, which makes me very sad. Seems like the easiest way to feed her is uh, keep the gronkle upside down and slides right down her gullet. This feels so wrong. Poor gronkle. Oh man. They just fit right into her mouth. That is so hard to do. I feel so bad. And now they're inside. How are we gonna get these out? Oh my gosh, this is kind of disgusting. Luckily, uh, the Red Death Dragon has a simplified hatch down on her belly, and you just kind of open up the hatch and the gronkles fall out real simply and easily. Highly detailed minifigures, by the way. Look how awesome these gronkles turned out. Green, yellow eyes, red mouth with white teeth. They really went overboard for something that normally would have just been green plastic. A quick scale comparison with the other 2010 How to Train Your Dragon Dragons. Toothless, looking enormous next to Red Death. Stormfly, also looking enormous. Hookfang. Belch and Barf, the hideous Zivilback. And the Gronkle. Try swallowing one of these guys, Red Death. No, I believe I will just get the salad this time. The 2010 Red Death with Gronkles is an amazing toy and has been a pleasure to play with today. 
She is definitely a prize to any How to Train Your Dragon collection. It is too bad this toy has become pretty rare these days, but I believe you can find one if you keep an eye out for it. There are deals here and there. If not, there are plenty of other amazing awesome dragon toys to find. Okay, Red Death, eat your Gronkles. That's what I have to say about that. Gronkles are high in fat and rocks. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. Oh, thank goodness! I found my way to the escape hatch on the Red Death! With my technological intelligence, I can get myself out of anything! Uh-oh! Ah!